Hey everybody, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I have another layout for you, and this one is for the A Flare for Buttons design team. And I'm going to be using Flare from two sets. This one is Tell Your Story 1 set, and this one is the Watercolor Designs set. And they are both very, very cool, very pretty, very versatile sets of Flare. So I've been dying to use the new Take Me Away collection designed by Paige Evans for Pink Paisley, and so that's what I'm going to use today. I've had it for a few weeks and just have not had a chance to break into it. And so I'm going to try and mix and match some flair. Now I pulled out several flair to begin with here. I don't wind up using a lot of these, but these are the ones that just jumped out at me right away when I pulled out this collection. So I'm just going to put those aside for now and work on my design. So I'm going to use this really beautiful hexagon pattern paper and it's it's dark it's light you've got all the pretty colors in there and instead of using the entire sheet as a background I'm going to just rip it in half and use the top half as pattern paper and the bottom half of the layout as white cardstock and that's going to give me a lot of area to do some watercolor on later so at this point I'm just kind of thinking what is my next step and the first thing I think of is I need to add some things behind my photo for layers. And so those cut apart sheets or the cut apart sheet with the little three by four cards on them are perfect for journaling. So I picked ones that I didn't necessarily think I would use the sayings for. And I have two sheets of that because I'm using the paper pad. So I've got another sheet of it. And so I'm gonna use these as layers. And I'm also using some of the die cuts from the ephemera pack. And that couch is really cute. I didn't ever think I would use it on an actual page as a couch. And so I'm going to try to use it as a layering piece behind the photo because the pink color is so pretty. And I'm going to fussy cut this one out. And then I'm going to come in and start doing some gessoing to my background. I taped down, or not taped, but I used my tape runner to um, stick down the pattern paper. And I'm just using white gesso and a card to smudge down some white gesso here. And I don't want to blend out the pattern paper completely. You know, this is something I do a lot. I just kind of fade it out a little bit and add that coat of gesso. So whenever I start to add wet things, it's going to stay on top of the paper instead of soaking through it. Um, I'm going to also add those two messy circle die cuts. Those I cut those a couple weeks ago when I did the blog hop for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And you can find those on the website for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And uh, I had cut some extra, and so they're gonna go on this layout today. So for my background, I pulled out some shimmers, and I'm mixing and matching some of the creamies, some of the inklings, and some of the sprays, just to kind of create a messy little watercolor effect here. And I'm trying to mix and match the colors that are in that paper. And this is one thing I love about my shimmers products is that by mixing and matching, you can pretty much get any color you want. So I started out with some really pretty pinks, but I wanted to add that orange flare to it, and so I dripped a couple of drops from a colorings called Peachy Keen, and it made it the perfect shade of that orangey pink color. This is a yellow color that I use a lot. It's called No Yoking. And it's a colorings also. And I'm trying to pick up some of that yellow in the top there. And I'm just going to take some time to make my background here. And since the, the uh, pattern paper is hexagon, I pulled out this really thin hexagon 6x6 six six stencil. And I'm going to use it as a stamp. I'm just going to spray it with those same pink and orangey colors and then flip it over. And this is, you know, it's not going to make a huge impact on the layout. It just adds a little bit of something extra. And it just gives the, the bottom part of the layout a little bit of interest. And it looks like it's got some texture to it now. And it would have been fine without it. But I was just mainly experimenting because I knew I had a hexagon stencil somewhere. And I had never even taken it out of the package. And so I thought, I'll try something with this layout here. Now I'm moving on to purple. And this is a creamies. And I've already forgotten the name of it. I will look it up. And I'm trying to pull from the purple in my daughter's shirt. She had been outside on the carport 
or in the driveway with some sidewalk chalk and she got more of it on her face than she got on the sidewalk and she just looks cute as a button. So of course I had to get a picture of that. Now the chipboard stickers in this collection are awesome. I'm going to use that one that I just pulled off that says colors just because it was perfect for this. And now I'm going to play around with the chipboard pieces. I'm going to use that little piece there mainly because the colors match perfectly and it says weekend vibes and it fits perfectly at the bottom of the picture. I pulled out my matching thread. I'm going to use some yellow, some light purple, and some of that orangey color. That purple that I used, the watercolor, it's a creamies. It's called Paradise Punch. I had it in my brain. I could not think of it, so I just grabbed it. Paradise Punch. And I have a, an Inklings over there opened up, but I, I don't wind up using the Inklings. As you can see, those two purple pots over there to the right, completely different um, shades of purple. The one on top is the Inklings, and the one on bottom is the creamies. They even look totally different when they're in their container. But the uh, creamies was the, the better match to this. So I'm going to glue everything down. I've got all my layers ready. I've got some pink, I've got some yellow, and some of that really light mint color in my layers, as well as that orangey red color. And I'm just going to keep playing around with all of these bits and pieces here. This is part of the fun of this layout after creating the background was just going through and deciding where to put what. And I want to make sure I've got all these big embellishments down first before I come in with my flare buttons because they, they, they're small and so I tend to want to add them later. I know which ones I'm going to use but I want to add them later I guess you could say because I don't want to stick down something small and then realize later that I wish I would have added something bigger underneath it or around it because I'm using the um, quick dry adhesive in my glue bottle there and so you don't have much time to rearrange things once you glue it down. So. so to add more embellishments, this is a sheet from the 6x6 paper pad and it's these little crochet embroidery hoops, not crochet, embroidery hoops. And I'm going to use my one inch circle punch to punch out a couple of the little sayings. The one up top says so much fun. One of them says, stay crafty. And I can't remember what the other one says. Oh, it says, keeping it real. And they're very light because they're teeny tiny uh, little stitches, like you would see on an embroidery hoop. And so the, the text on those is not that dark. So I know I'm going to use the flare that says today up on top of the picture there because there's some space to do that and then I'm going to use that light watercolor purple chevron one down basically right where it is now. I'm going to create a little cluster down there in the right lower corner area and those are going to wind up being the only two flare that I use. My original thought was to use some of the shiny gold metallic ones that you see up there on the left that I had pulled out in the beginning but what happens is I'm going to come in with some of the silver acrylic stickers from this Take Me Away collection. And so I didn't want to mix and match the gold and silver here just because it didn't, it didn't go. And the silver looked great. This is one of my favorite things in this collection. It's these paper clips and they've got these little tags or tabs attached to the end. And they're, I don't even know what they're made of, but they're, you can bend them and one side is the same as the other side and they're, it's almost like they've got um, glossy accents or something sealing them and they have this really fun, almost puffy-like clear texture. They're really, really cool. I wish I would have gotten more of those. I added some fun foam behind my picture and I'm still going to play around with the flare, but I know now that I don't use the gold ones. I love the gold ones and they're special. <laughs> so I want to make sure that they look perfect on the page that I'm making. And they would have looked good on here, but when I brought in the silver, I just wanted to keep the gold and silver separate. Now I have used gold and silver both together on a page before, but 
This one, I just wanted to stick with one. And these are the, the acrylic shape stickers that I'm talking about. And if you've got this collection, you've probably seen these. And I'm just going to add the word fun because it's already on there. And I like whenever I have a word in my title that's written in cursive or script, like colors, I don't want to use another different cursive scripty font right beside it. So I'm going to use a straight font that's, uh, I guess, just separate letters. Fun. And you can see how totally opposite they are. And I love to mix and match like that. I really wanted to use this really cute banner shape. And that's from the ephemera pack. And I was going to originally use it up underneath the picture, but I decided to move it down. And I'm going to use it down here and add some interest to the bottom of the page as part of that little cluster on the right. And I also added some of the buttons that came in this collection, as well as more of the chipboard hearts. And add some purple thread behind the flare button. And it's very subtle because it's almost the same color as the purple that is in that flare button. And it just gives it a little bit of interest. Sometimes I feel like my flare buttons are just naked if they don't have some thread under them as a little nest to sit in. So I was very excited to finally get to use this collection. Um, like I said, I've had it for a while and just have not had the chance to do it or to, to use it at all. And so as I was going through everything, I got lots of ideas on so many of those papers in this collection. And so I can't wait to make another page with it. Added a little more yellow thread down there just for an extra pop of yellow. And I tried to add another flare, but I just didn't have the right spot for it. I didn't want to cover up a lot more of all that mixed media that I did down at the bottom because it just looks cool and I like for it to show. So I'm just going to add a couple more splatters here. This is back to one of the original pink sprays that I used in the beginning. It's a spritz and it's called Ruby. And instead of writing my journaling, I'm just going to use a couple of strips, uh, phrase and sentiment strips from one of my Tim Holtz sticker sheets. And one of them says, darling, you are a work of art. And I just thought that was so cute and appropriate since, you know, she was doing some sidewalk drawing. Now, these are just some bits and pieces from my stash that stay on my desk all the time. And they're from me and my big ideas. And I'm mainly using these little stickers because they match. The one I just stuck down on the right says, C'est la vie. I think that little banner sticker that I stuck on that wood veneer heart says, Oh, hello. This is a little circle that says, So awesome. And the phrases and the sayings, you know, they go, kind of go with, with the theme of the layout, I guess. That one says, Wild and Free. But the colors... The colors match. I use these stickers all the time when I'm making a layout and half the time something doesn't match or it's the wrong shape and so if I'm doing a layout that I can use those little stickers on I try to use them. I'm going to come in with some enamel dots. These are from Freckled Fawn. I've had these for almost a year probably and I'm going to add those and then I add my date stamp and some silverish gray splatters and that's the final layout. I love how this turned out. I love the colors. Totally different color scheme than what I'm used to, but I think it turned out really, really cool. And I love the flare buttons. The flare buttons are very versatile. You can use them on so many different projects and in so many different ways. So let me know if you have any questions about any of the flare, about any of the products that I use or anything. So stay tuned. I'll see you very shortly with another video. Thanks for watching.